want to i just want to know that uh, because uh, uh, we are here uh, mm. my wife came from pakistan in canada 2018 and um, so mm. we checked with the doctor here the doctor said that uh, we cannot expand the uterus so but when i saw your uh, yeah video you guys uh, you guys said that we can expand the uterus size correct right, right. so, so we in our hospital we, we, we call that uterine expansion surgery so so all the doctor knows that only or it, only it is our hospital technique, technique. Yeah. yeah so it really so depends on experience, experience and technique it's not that okay. it cannot be no, done yeah. it's just that they don't, they don't have the knowledge to do it yeah it's okay. very technical okay. surgery correct so it's called ex uterine, uterine expansion surgery, surgery. Uterine okay so i will i will, I will explain to dr chen about your case briefly okay you know so it's all has so this is and the Then Sayyid, Dr. Chen is asking you, did you have miscarriage before and how many? Yes, yes 2019, uh, it was um, naturally uh, conceived. Okay. So, uh, so everything was, um, pregnancy was positive and uh, the doctor said that she is pregnant now. So after six or seventh week, the, you know, the embryo mm. or uh, you can say the baby. Correct. Uh, Heartbeat, heartbeat, very slow. Very slow. It was not increasing. I see. So, what is the reason? So, it miscarried. So it miscarried in the sixth week, is it? No. So, uh, they said that the baby's heartbeat is not increasing. Mm -hmm. So, this is not uh, efficient. So, they asked you to do abortion. abortion. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so uh, you know, so, 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 然后第六周第七周发现到这个心跳是很慢很低然后医生也是建议就人流了吧因为应该是不了的所以他的问题是为什么那个心跳那么慢为什么那么低所以大家是不一样的状况不好的嗯所以 so, Dr. Chen says the, the reason why the heartbeat is so slow is because the embryo didn't develop well and why the embryo didn't develop well is because of the unicornial unicornial uterus where there is a very poor nutrient delivery poor blood flow so naturally you can, you can assume that the seed will grow well but the, the fertility cleaning said that it uh, her uterus is uh, 2.5 by something like that so it is later on later on the conceiving should not be a problem but correct the conceiving should not be a problem yeah so but uh, after that uh, when the baby start it it has a lots of problem. Correct. So, it's a, uh, pregnancy, pregnancy with a unique convoy is always a high risk pregnancy. pregnancy. Yes. So mm. that's why I am saying that. So why the why the first time pregnancy wasn't developed very good? So because we explained because of the unique convoy size. First of all, there's no room. Secondly, because they cannot but deliver. At that time, but that time there is. Uh, I don't think so. It needs a room. It's a very small time. Regardless. Okay. If there's no there's enough no room, right? The second the problem second is they cannot the deliver proper, proper nutrients. Very, very, very little blood, blood vessels there. Okay. Correct. There, there's a tissue imbalance as well. There should be a lot of muscle tissue to deliver all the nutrients for it, like a normal one, right? But because of a unique conduit, there's very little blood vessels to deliver. So, so this uterus is uh, like a banana shape, right? Correct. Correct. So what you guys will do that? So this is like that. Mm. Correct. So what you guys do, uh, so normal is like this, right? Correct. Normal is like that. Right? Normal, normal is a pear shape. Pear shape. Pear shape. Pear shape. Not like this. Pear shape. What shape? Pear. 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 Upside down pear. Like that. Like that. Do you see? Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. This is a this is normal. I see. I saw that. Yeah. So yeah, it's an upside down pear shape. That's what we call it. Yeah. 对啦，所以他的问题是，你们说，所以要把这个香蕉形的变成一个圆形的。对对对，把两个香蕉两边都切开，融到一块儿，你会说吗？你给他说。应该可以，可是有没有用到那个残角的？你往这往。对啊，残
Uh, have no, you done any no, laparoscopic surgery? No, the doctor, because these are the holidays here in Canada. Mm. So um, after Christmas and uh, New Year, is still holidays. So I think probably they guys will start working. Uh, and today is Sunday evening, so Sunday night. So the guys, uh, I think working day will start on uh, uh, Tuesday. Mm. Because uh, the holiday came on Saturday, so they want they they want their holiday, so they will use the Monday for the holiday because holiday came on the weekend, so they they want to use this. So Tuesday is the official working day in Canada, so probably so the my uh, her, her doctor uh, recommend uh, to her he is a surgeon now, so he said that um, he he is from Iran. So okay. he said that uh, we will do the MRI and see that uh, what is the exact location, uh, exact location of the uterus. And uh, I don't know because uh, here, what, what, what are they going to do besides imaging? I don't know because uh, first time we are going with that after the fertility guys, mm -hmm. they hands up, they hands up. They did the uh, uh, IVF and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, IUI. A couple of times IUI and then uh, uh, three, two times IVF. They took the uh, eggs and my sperm and made mm. the embryo yeah. and put the embryo inside, but mm. it didn't work. So they give up. So they give up. They said that uh, uh, you guys keep going maybe one day I'm or sick. if you want to IVF, uh, you guys can do that. Uh, but uh, okay, Saeed, let me uh, let me explain to Dr. Chen, okay? Yes. So, yeah. so he said that he is not going to do the surgery. Period yes, is regular. Then it's no problem. There's no problem. That's yeah, the exact 20 year day. Always regular, huh? Every month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Dr. Chen says uh, you shouldn't delay anymore because uh, you should if you can possible come to Beijing as soon as possible. We can have the surgery done. Expand the yeah. uterus size. I I, I can come um, I want to come as soon as possible, but because of yeah, we can COVID see you. 19, right, right. COVID 19, the flights are restricted. And, exactly. Uh, so we have a lot of patients. Same problem as to, you, correct. Always, they want to come, happening. but then because of COVID-19. Where uh, is the patient? Uh, all over the world, all over the world. Yes. Several places. Yeah, so so I have to check because I told you that uh, there is a, a holidays. So Chinese embassy will open maybe Tuesday. So mm -hmm. I have to check with the Chinese embassy how we okay. get the visa. Mm. Should be no problem, so, I think. Yeah, correct. So after that, uh, maybe... So if we, uh, so, you guys will do some um, um, uh, blood work uh, before. Doing yes, correct. Work? We will do st standard blood work, hormonal work, and then uh, if she has no other problems besides this uterine uh, banana uterus, right? Then we can yeah. still go into surgery. Okay. Can so, you do, can you explain a little bit? I don't want to take your too much time. Sure, sure. Time. So can you explain a little bit that how you this is a banana? So right. how you will treat that uh, and it will work or no? Yeah, because we've already done this surgery over a decade, so we know it will work. Okay. Correct. So this is the banana uterus, right? So yeah. we will use laparoscopic surgery to actually open it up, expand okay. it. And then right, you actually have another horn here. Okay. 100%. There's a horn here because you don't see it. It's because it's not communicating. Hmm. The, dye, the dye cannot go in. So you only hmm. see this. Okay. So we will combine these two, fuse it together into a pear shape. That's, okay. how, the, that's how the surgery works in general. Right? So we will what? open it up, expand hmm. the surface area, use How this you will horn, using surgery, also. laparoscopic surgery. No. Yeah. If, if, it is, if it is only this shape, so mm -hmm. how you will expand that? So wait, once we once we achieve the space, the shape that we want, right? We'll place a stent inside, solid stent, for thirty days now. So it'll maintain this uh, pear shape size, or pear shape volume. Something inside that. Correct. So afterwards, once we fuse it, we need to put a stent. Stent, uterine stent inside the cavity. So it will hold the shape and size for 30 days. That's all. And then afterwards, well, after we, will remove, we will remove the stent and then her shape will be permanent pear shape. It won't even okay. revert back. 
You know the heart patient has a blockage in the correct uh, same thing. Right? The same so stent. You guys send the balloon and open that. Why yeah, open that for thirty days. So yeah. Dr. Dr. Chen here, right? That he's right. the guy who invented the surgery in Beijing. Okay. Yeah. So twenty years ago, he's he's the first one to do it in Beijing. Okay. So you see the stent he's holding. That's see, that's is very tiny. Yes. And when we pump it into water, right, it will be very uh, expand expanded. So when you remove it yourself, right, all all you need to do is let the water discharge. It will become small and then just pull it up. No problem. So you have a water here. In, look at that. You see? So we just inject water, expand it. See? Hmm. But of course, it will expand more, more times in volume. This is just a demonstration. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Correct. So what, what you call this? Uh, Intrauterine stent. Intrauterine stent. Yeah. Sometimes we also call it pear shape stent. Yeah. We will also place a bioadhesion barrier. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, how to say, it's a barrier made from biomaterial to prevent from any adhesions from falling, uh, forming after the surgery. So after the surgery, a lot, it's very common for adhesions to form. It's like webs that will connect, which is causing more problems. From, from. Sticking together, correct. So we need to put, we need to put a barrier also. Stick. So, but uh, inside. So, so after the surgery, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you again. Surgery, so pressure body, right? We put the barrier, and then we put the stent. Hmm. Yeah. So you, you guys will, uh, uh, you. Uh, so the small horn and Correct. the big horn, you fuse together. That. We are not throwing anything away. We are just expanding. Use the same materials. The material is enough. Just the shape and size. Okay. Hmm. So, that is the surgery. so one week. Uh, one week is the. One week surgery. And then yeah. if you can stay, stay. But if you cannot stay, you can go home. You can take out the stent yourself. Okay, so how yeah, many days after that rest? That, uh, so, so go home, to your cycle for another few years. We will generally say three months. Three months of uh, rest after surgery. Because Dr. Chen says you don't really have time on your side because your wife is 37, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, as soon as possible, we want her to get pregnant as soon as possible after the pregnancy. So three months after surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. when you finish the uh, surgery, so you mm. will see that uh, what you did that it is, uh, it is, uh, it is okay or it is uh, successful. Correct. It will be. Successful. We will do a HSG. HSG. Yeah. You can see the pear shape. You've done a HSG, right? Huh. Correct. How you see the banana shape is because of HSG. So after surgery, you do a HSG again. It will be a different shape, not a banana shape anymore. Okay. So you will ultrasound or you will do the. So after surgery, we will of course be doing monitoring on her. After surgery, two to three days, she will be under monitoring in the hospital. If there's anything. So not to worry, it is very comprehensive. Yes. Mm. So do we need to book the appointments with you for the surgery? Or no, 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 no. As long as you can get, get to Beijing, we can uh, have the surgery done immediately. No problem. No booking required. Okay. Yeah.
Because we are a private hospital, right? So we don't need to wait. We are a private hospital. So you don't need to wait. We are a private hospital. Okay, you have so you don't, correct. So we, we don't you don't need to wait. No waiting is required. Yeah. So you what get, about the what what about the residents? If we come here yeah, in Beijing, so mm -hmm. do we need a hotel? No, 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 you can stay in in our hospital. You can bring family members as well. We have uh, patient suites who are like uh, how to say family family suites where you, patients okay. can stay together. There mm -hmm. are different rooms as well in one mm -hmm. unit. So, so this yeah. is all. This is uh, this is included in your uh, correct. Uh, this included all included correct. But let's say this, this the fee is only for hospitalization and the treatment of this banana uterus. Mm. Correct. Okay. Yeah, covers everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if we yeah. if we want to stay one month huh. to there, so the hospital will uh, allow us to stay there. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, he said if he wants to stay one month, can you allow Yes, of course, no problem. Why you in here? Dr. Chen even recommends a better solution where you can stay all the way until you get pregnant and uh, you can even give birth here in our hospital. Deliver. Deliver. Water birth. Yeah, so our, our, our hospital is famous for doing water birth. Do you know water birth? Water birth. Water birth. So Dr. Chen is uh, make, making a joke here. So you say if you have two babies, he will take one. You keep the other. <laughs> yeah, so. Look. So water birth is uh, where the mother giving birth, she sits inside the water, and then oh, there's no water. Correct. Use the water slowly, yeah. the baby will come out. No bleeding, yes. no pain, but it takes a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I heard about that. Yeah. Water so we, 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 we specialize in water birth as well. So yeah. sometimes patients will stay all the way till giving birth because mm -hmm. they are very uh, anxious, you know, because they uh, miscarried many times. So we have patients like this also. Something that you can consider. Uh, 